unauthorized access. Access granted. Welcome back with another episode, a uh, continuation of World of Warcraft as we figure or play through the lore for the first time in a very, very, very long time. Um, it's going to kind of seem a big jump from the previous episode because we are now in the Maw, uh, dealing with the, uh, oh, what are they called? I can't think of the name. Damn it. Where are you guys? Knights of Elven. Elven Blade. Forget them. The Death Knights. There we go. Uh, as we were just in Zaldazar last episode, uh, this episode we're in here, and basically what happened is I finished the main storyline for the most part over there. Uh, I decided I wanted to take a break from that area and go hit up all the embassies, and this was the first one that started an actual mission for me. As you can see, the quest on the right-hand side here in a bit, it's going to just talk about the other embassies I've been working with, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to start working through all that. So, um, enough chit-chatting, because it's a... <laughs> Unauthorized access. Access granted. Sorry. I pressed the button. We are going to work through all, but enough chit chat because it's only going to be about an hour long episode, maybe a little bit more. Um, and again, this is all just to make up for the lack of live streams due to lots of stuff going on in the school slash our life. And family comes first here, so I have a little bit of downtime to create some more episodes, hence this. So I'm going to shut up. You're not going to see me again until the end of this episode. You may hear me chime in through the video. And that is just kind of how this, this whole series has gone so far. So I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to stay up to date. And get notified when I do go live or post new content. And then, of course, hit the subscribe button to truly support the channel. So it's all free. Never expected. Always appreciated. Let's get into it. I'm going to shut up now. Let's go. Access granted. Keep an eye out for clues that point to the whereabouts of our allies. Frost magic looks like the work of our friend, the Lord Admiral. The conflict seems to move in this direction. We should follow the trail before it grows cold. Proudmore's handiwork. It would be unwise to break the enchantment. Let's move along. sure who this is, but we're going to fight him. Yeah, 
Yeah, nothing. The Lord Admiral is truly formidable to invest in one of these monstrosities. Hold. What's that up ahead? Up ahead. It's Lady Proudmoore. Looks like we've secured the Lord Admiral. I'll signal the Evan Blade to advance. We can't stay here. Can you walk, Thrall? I will manage. Thank you for coming to my aid, Jaina. Something's flying at us from above. They found us. Be ready. Struggle all you like, mortals. You cannot escape your fate. Images behind to keep them distracted. The illusion won't hold for long. Hurry! Be careful who you trust. A single spark can set them. There's a cave just around the bend. With any luck, we can reach it before they notice. Let's hope so. Our captors won't be pleased you managed to slip past them again. You will not evade our grasp, mortals. for remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. What did Thrall mean by slip past them again? I've escaped before. Indeed. I've broken free countless times. Only to end up in a cage. I've hidden inside this cave before. We can't stay long, but it should buy us a little time. Another ambush! Bring them down! She vowed to find Sylvanas Windrunner at any cost. That is troubling. An ancient ritual infused her with incredible power. I fear it may be growing beyond her ability to contain it. Your cell awaits, mage. The Jailer has plans for you. I've had enough of your cages, fiend. There is nowhere to run. Nothing. Escapes the law.
We should be safe enough here for the moment. When you first arrived, I wasn't sure if you were even real, or if you were just another illusion meant to torment us. I was beginning to lose hope that I'd see anyone from our world again. Make it quick! We press on. Ashes to ashes. The time for dreaming is over. We all have our ghosts. I know what must be done. Very well. Where to begin? Denizens call this realm the Maw. From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Something has changed. Pure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Indeed. And one of their tormentors, and ours, is Sylvanas Windrunner. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The Shades whisper of someone called... the Jailer. The Jailer rules this realm. We know little about him. But it's clear he has taken a special interest in us. He has personally overseen our... treatment here. We have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being... tested. Though for what purpose, I cannot say. Whatever this Jailer and the Banshee are planning, it won't end well... for any of us. I caught glimpses of Bane and Anduin during my attempts to break free. They live. That's all I know for certain. But I have found no means of leaving them all. I can only manage to teleport short distances. This nightmare feels... inescapable. Countless souls are now pouring into this realm. Some have been here for untold ages. Perhaps one of them knows a way out. I can scarcely imagine the horror such spirits have endured. I fear there's nothing left of them to save. They manifest as malevolent shades that wander the darkness. I doubt they'd willingly help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways to compel the dead to speak. If we seize one of them, we can extract its secrets. We cannot let the world fall to darkness. For us, there is no peace, no rest. A shadow of hope remains. Well, this is gonna be fun.
walls are too fragmented. There must be another way. The night's in. This target poses a considerable threat. I will signal the Ebon Blade for assistance once we engage it. Ebon Blade to me! Tear this monstrosity down! Once we find Anduin, my staff will serve as an anchor for me to teleport us back to safety. All set. Let's get moving. the Tremaculum. Here, souls are tormented, twisted into wretched chains. Last I saw Anduin, they were taking him to the tower above. We need to find a way up there. Here. I sense tendrils of magic tethering this room to the tower. It should take us there. What does she want with him? Hold here. The true battle. You won't succeed. Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we seek. In a moment. Anduin! How badly are you hurt? I... Will live. I'm relieved you're all safe. These bonds are too strong to break by force. We must find a way to free him. Sometimes we must fight. Be vigilant. Victory in the light.
I will do what I can. too far away. I feared I would never be free of those shackles. Never. We should move quickly. Are you fit to travel? I will be fine once this place is behind us. Lead on. side of the chasm. Our allies will protect you there.
Blade forces are positioned nearby. They will defend you. I'm out of range. Before the guards return. What would you ask the Daughter of the Sea? Greetings, friend. Be vigilant. Victor. My ability to teleport is limited here, but I should be able to open a portal back to my staff's location. Those wounds look serious, Thrall. Let me tend them. Thank you, Anduin. You don't feel... Your arrival is timely. Our friend, he'll speak. How do we leave this place? Futile!
Did you make sense of what it said, Lord Admiral? The cauldron it spoke of lies beyond the River of Souls. I believe Bane is being held captive there. Then it seems our course is clear. We know much about sacrifice. We must forge our own destiny. We cannot leave these innocent souls alone to their fate. All I'm saying Our is that forces will remain on guard we weren't even going to address Bane. We weren't going to even go save him. We literally just saw that, right? We were trying to save Anduin, and that's it. And so then we're going to teleport out. We were just going to say fuck it to Bane. Rude. A long road lies before us. You're troubled, Thrall. What is it? Still no sign of Tyrande. We cannot leave her alone in this nightmare. Agreed. But we have no idea how to find her. We will do our best. But this waystone may be our only means of escape. If there's a way out of the mall, then there has to be a way back in. We will return to her. soundly beaten by a force of wretched champions, which... You will pay for that insult! The skies of your world will be darkened by the wings of my Morsworn! For Azeroth! Precipice above. Is that? are mending, but his spirit remains weakened. I've never seen anything like it. Bronca, I believe I have. In a place very far from here. For Azeroth. A crossbow? I prefer to strike my enemies face to face. I suppose it's got heft to it. Let's see what else we can find, though. I've never been one for staves, but at least it won't break in a melee. Let's keep looking for a serviceable weapon, though I've never understood why the Alliance seems so fixated with swords. Hmm. <laughs> Too long a handle. Better than nothing, I suppose. Let's take one more look.
Together, we are strong. At last, a proper warrior's weapon. If the Jailer comes, he will taste my steel. This must be the dagger. Bane's blood still stains its blade. Let honor guide your path. Break the blade. Be prepared for whatever comes. This curse is tearing his soul apart. You must defeat it quickly. Hold on, babe. Do not let the jailer take you. I think he's coming too. It almost did, were it not for this champion. Then you have my eternal gratitude, hero. I wish we had more time for you to recover, but we need to move. Control your power. We seek a waystone located beyond the cauldron. Have you seen it? I spotted an obelisk of ancient stone upon the high ridge. Did not seem important. The jailer's forces pay it little heed. What do you think it is? Our way out of here, we hope. The way forward will not be easy. <sighs> the jailer's forces seem endless. There is no way we can fight through them all. Jaina, can you hide us from their sight? My spell will get us past most of his guards, but there will likely be some who can see through it. Stay close. We can't afford to draw their attention. Hold here. Careful. These eyes can see through my spell. The size of the Jailer's army rivals that of the Legion, and it's growing low. Stay, stay close. My spell has limited range.
So many souls pouring into the Maw. The dead of Azeroth, Draenor, worlds beyond our imagination. All damned to this place. Hold here. To be forged into weapons for the Jailer. Despite all Sylvanas has done, I never thought she'd be part of something like this. Sylvanas is just a pygmy girl. Look, on the platform ahead, that must be the Waystone. We need to reach it before the Jailer takes notice. Stone was said to be dormant, yet it seems to be reacting to our presence. I can't find a way to activate it. I don't think the stone is responding to us. I think it's responding to this champion. Just cause is always worth fighting for. When the Jailer realizes our plan, he'll send all his forces against us. Relic of the First Ones? Responding to a mortal? Impossible! Something's it's actually really messy. It seems the Waystone has stopped charging. The stone responds to you, champion. Try to activate it while we hold off the Jailer's army. Nothing escapes the law. Yield to the inevitable. They've stopped their advance.
Dun, dun, dun. An agent of the Maw is attacking Oribos. Defend the Arbiter! Hold. The Maw's power does linger upon them, but I sense... No, that cannot be possible! I don't know if there's someone supposed to be right here that I'm supposed to talk to or what, but yeah. Welcome to the Eternal City. We must bring them to the Overseers at once. Come with us, stranger. Ah, this is a sanctuary. Yep. This is where I was. This is the last place I've actually played as part of the Legion and everything. The purpose brought you to us. Blessed be her voice. The reports from our scryers were unmistakable. The Maw shuddered for a moment, as if reacting to some change. An ill omen to be certain. What can it mean? Overseers, this stranger appeared at the city's edge. I believe them to be a living mortal. The Arbiter sees all things. The Eternal City must endure another unexpected development. We shall see to their reception. Every attendant in Oribos is taught that the Maw is unbreachable. That the malevolent souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prison is weakening. If true, the banished one could... Cardelen! Karsher! Herbis be praised! At long last, the Arbiter has stirred. Wondrous news, honored voice. Mere moments ago, there was a disturbance at the boundary of the moor. Then this mortal appeared, claiming to have broken free of it. A living mortal? Surely their presence here serves the purpose. If the Arbiter reacted to their arrival, perhaps they are the key to waking her. Is this mortal worthy of such an audience? They may prove to be an agent of the Jailer. It is the Arbiter's place to judge souls, Kasher, not ours. I will bring this mortal before her. With her voice have I spoken. What news do you bring? Your path. Blessed be her voice. I pray the Arbiter will awaken in your presence, mortal. Trust in the purpose. She is unchanged, ever silent. Be honest, uh, we're near the end of this, so once this whole when segment with the Arbiters are Morris, done, and we find out more about the Jailer and all this stuff, um, we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go do Dead Life here in the next, like, 15 minutes. So, it gave me hope. Heads up.
that she would awaken and resume her blessed purpose. Mere words cannot describe the glory that was. Step forward, that I may show you. For uncounted eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the Eternal City, as the Shining Heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... That dread moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Now souls rich with anima travel only to the Maw. We have tried everything to stop it. To awaken our blessed Arbiter. To no avail. Without anima, drought has gripped the Shadowlands. The afterlives have grown isolated. Fear and uncertainty haunt us all. With countless souls feeding the Jailer, I fear he may grow strong enough to break free from the Maw. It is said he is filled with hatred for the Arbiter. If he strikes her down, it would bring the end of everything the First Ones made. Return to the lower levels. The Overseers will prepare you for what is to come. Come forth and be judged. Speak, mortal. How may I aid you, mortal? Trust the purpose. Outsiders, what have you done, mortal? Be at ease. I am Bolvar Forger. These knights and I are here to help. The touch of the Maw is upon their souls as well. But if they found a way to break free of its influence, perhaps they can aid us. We stand together against the darkness. Hmm. Leave me be. Alright, we're wrapping this up. We are going to create this portal back to Azeroth.
we are going to say our farewells in just a bit. Countless portals in my lifetime, but never one that connected two planes of reality. I thought death was the end of existence. Here, it seems, death is a power that offers new beginnings. Alrighty, we are going to wrap this episode up. I'm going to call it a day. Oh, thank you for another episode. For Friday, we shall see. It may have to actually wait till Friday. Friday may have to be a late stream. I don't know. We shall see. I just, it's all just tossed in the air right now. We got lots of stuff going on. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode as we further er, ventured into the mall for the first time seen the overseer this is actually the first time i've played this specific storyline uh, i've been to the mall but i basically stopped playing after that because group of buddies i was playing with stopped playing or or more realistically it was either they stopped or they they were going really hard on this and i fell behind on levels and it was just one of those things like i couldn't catch up they were maxing out and i just I play occasionally, casually, meaning I play when I can. And they were dedicating like six, seven plus hours a day to this. So. Well, it was most of the games I play uh, with buddies. So but I hope you enjoy this. Uh, don't forget to go check out Two Guys One Gamepad in the meantime and listen to the latest episode of our podcast. It can be found everywhere you get your podcasts, like Apple, Amazon, Spotify, or even on YouTube and Facebook. Um, then go check out shellshockcbd.com. Save yourself 10% or more with promo code CMSIG and to live a better and healthier lifestyle, both mentally and physically. Um, I promise you there's something there for everybody and it's just getting better. So without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the bell icon as well so where it gets um, you notified properly. But until next time, everyone, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Till then, everyone, have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Unauthorized access. Access granted.